Hey there, Crypto Educate fam. Welcome back to my channel where the crypto tea is always served piping hot with an extra sprinkle of sass for good measure. Before we dive into today's breakdown of the latest crypto shenanigans, you know the drill, hit that like button, drop a comment, and share this video with your fellow crypto enthusiasts. Seriously, your engagement is what keeps this channel thriving and growing, so let's keep that energy up. And remember, while I'm here to dish out the juiciest crypto knowledge, it's always on you to do your own research before making any moves. Crypto is a wild roller coaster, and trust me, you don't want to ride it blindfolded. All right, buckle up because we're jumping into some hot Cardano 80 action today, followed by a look at Michael Saylor's eyebrow raising Bitcoin prediction that'll have you questioning reality 23,000% gains. Anyone? Let's get started. Cardano price in limbo mysterious moves or market manipulation. So here's the latest buzz Cardano AD has been having a moment, but not in the way you'd expect. The price is showing some bullish momentum currently sitting above $0.34, but something shady is going on. We've got mysterious wallet transactions involving millions of ADA, and it's causing quite the stir in the market. Now, you might be wondering what's the big deal? Well, anytime you see massive transfers like this, especially from wallets with a history of significant transactions, people start speculating. Is it manipulation? some big time whale trying to make waves or just someone moving funds for a legit reason. We don't know for sure, but these kinds of transactions often lead to big market movements, whether they're intentional or not. But let's zoom out for a second. Cardano has been on an upward trend lately, mirroring the broader crypto market recovery. Out of surging past $0.34 is a good sign, but are we headed for a sustained rally or is this just a blip? Well, rising trading volumes and increased open interest tell me that investors are starting to get confident again. And we know confidence in the crypto market is about as stable as a house of cards on a windy day. But let's break this down a bit. Why is ADA's price moving like this? One reason could be these mysterious wall of transfers. Large transactions can shake things up. It's like someone throwing a boulder into a pond ripples, baby. And sometimes those ripples turn into full on waves why mysterious ADA transactions matter? Okay, so let's talk about this specific whale wallet transfer that everyone's buzzing about. We've got a high activity wallet one that's been known to move millions of ADA making some pretty sizable moves. These transfers started with someone converting Solana into ADA through SimpleSwap, followed by sending that ADA to a brand new wallet created via JuraWap. Then, just when we thought things couldn't get any more confusing, that ADA was moved again, this time to another new Vesper wallet. Oh, and just to make it spicy, the transfer got stuck for a bit before finally going through. This series of transactions wasn't just a coincidence that lined up with some major network congestion caused by a new platform release, which feels a lot like pump.fun. Sounds suspicious, right? It's like when a magician waves one hand to distract you while pulling off the trick with the other. So is this just some normal crypto maneuvering or is there something bigger brewing? Hard to say, but it's definitely got people talking. And... Ada's price is reflecting all this hype. Over the past 24 hours, we've seen the price hover around the $0.34 mark, climbing 1.32% during US. Market hours. Now, I know 1.32% doesn't sound like much in the wild world of crypto, but in traditional finance, that's a solid move for a day. The real question is, can Ada break past its resistance levels and head for the stars? Can Ada hit $0.50 soon? Let's take a look at the technicals because that's where things start to get really interesting. Right now, ADA's relative strength index RSI is sitting at 62, which is in that sweet neutral zone. It's not overbought and it's not oversold. That tells me that we might see some continued upward momentum, but we're not in bubble territory just yet. The moving average convergence divergence MACD also points to bullish momentum with the MACD line rising above the signal line. This is good news for the short-term future of ADA, Plus, if you're one of those volume hawks, check this out. Trading volumes for Cardano have surged by 24.12%, reaching $288.05 million. That's not pocket change. It means more people are getting in on the action, which could be a signal that the price is poised to keep climbing. Combine that with a 2.06% rise in open interest, and you've got a recipe for potential volatility in the days ahead. So can ADA hit $0.50? Well, if this bullish momentum continues and ADA breaks through the $0.35 resistance, we could very well see it inching towards that $0.50 mark. However, don't get too ahead of yourself just yet. The $0.40 level is going to be a significant barrier, 
And only if 80 can clear that hurdle would $0.50 become a realistic short-term target. Beyond that, if the stars align and bullish momentum persists, we might even see ADA heading toward $1, but let's not jinx it. Now, as much as I love Cardano and its tech, always remember that ADA is no stranger to hype cycles. We've seen the peaks, we've seen the bakes, we've seen the valleys, and we've seen the community rally behind it. But like with any altcoin, the journey is far from linear. Hype drives prices, but sustained adoption is what will keep it afloat long term. Michael Saylor's mind-boggling Bitcoin prediction, $13 million BTC by 2045. All right, fam, now let's switch gears and talk about something that might just blow your mind. Michael Saylor, the executive chairman of MicroStrategy, has predicted that Bitcoin could hit $13 million by 2045. Yep, you heard me right, $13 million per Bitcoin. That's a 23,000% gain from where we're sitting today. Now, if you're sitting there with your jaw on the floor, trust me, I get it. But before you go running to buy up every last Satoshi, Let's break down what he's saying, and more importantly, what I think about it. First off, yes, Bitcoin has had insane growth. It's gone from a few cents to tens of thousands of dollars in just over a decade. That kind of growth is almost unheard of, but can it really keep going like this? Michael Saylor's argument is based on his belief that Bitcoin is the world's first perfect money. He says modern currency is inherently inflationary, meaning it loses value over time. That's why people spend it instead of hoarding it. But Bitcoin, being deflationary, is designed to become more valuable over time. Saylor's thesis is that governments will keep printing money, driving inflation up, and eventually people will turn to Bitcoin as the ultimate store of value. Now, I see where he's coming from. We've all seen inflation eat away at the purchasing power of fiat currencies. But $13 million for a single Bitcoin? That's a bold claim. And I've got my doubts. Breaking down Saylor's Bitcoin bull case, look... I love Bitcoin as much as the next crypto enthusiast, but let's be real for a second. Hitting $13 million is a huge ask. It would require Bitcoin to take over a significant chunk of global capital. Right now, Bitcoin's market cap is around $1 trillion, while the total global equities market is over $100 trillion. Saylor's prediction would mean Bitcoin grows to be worth $250 trillion by 2045, making up 34% of global equities. That's not just a moonshot, that's a new solar system. Let's put this into perspective. If Bitcoin grew to 5% of global equities by 2045, you'd still be looking at an impressive 19% annualized return. That's nothing to scoff at. But 34%, that's a complete reordering of global capital. And frankly, I think that's a bit too lofty. Bitcoin has shown it can outperform traditional markets, sure. But as institutional investors pour in, I think we're going to see its returns start to mirror the broader market more closely. We're already seeing the correlation between Bitcoin and traditional assets increase over time. Back in the 2010s, Bitcoin was moving entirely on its own, but from 2020 onwards, that's changed. Institutional money means Bitcoin is becoming part of the larger financial ecosystem, and that's going to cap some of those explosive gains we've seen in the past. Is Bitcoin still a good long-term bet? Don't get me wrong, Bitcoin is still one of the best long-term investments out there, in my opinion. Even if we don't see $13 million, I think Bitcoin will continue to outperform traditional markets for the next few years, possibly even decades. But expecting 23,000% returns over 20 years. That's where I have to pump the brakes. Saylor's argument isn't completely without merit, though. Bitcoin's scarcity and deflationary design make it an attractive store of value. It's like digital gold, but with the added benefits of being easily transferable and verifiable. Unlike fiat currencies where governments can just print more money whenever they feel like it, Bitcoin has a hard cap of 21 million coins. That scarcity creates value. But the idea that it'll reach $13 million per coin assumes an adoption rate that's hard to fathom right now. To put it bluntly, Bitcoin isn't just going to replace gold, it's going to have to replace a huge chunk of other asset classes like equities, real estate, and even bonds. That's a pretty tall order. But hey, the crypto space is full of surprises and stranger things have happened. So while I'm skeptical of Saylor's $13 million prediction, I'm not ruling out the possibility that Bitcoin could continue to rise and remain a solid store of value in the long term. What should you do with this information? So you're probably asking, should I still buy Bitcoin if it's not going to hit $13 million my take? If you believe in the long-term vision of decentralized finance and Bitcoin's role in the global financial system, then yeah, Bitcoin is still worth considering as part of your portfolio. Just don't bet the farm on it reaching sailors' wildest dreams. If you're new to crypto, Bitcoin is still one of the safest bets in the market. It's the most widely recognized, has the most liquidity, 
and is seen as a store of value by both retail and institutional investors alike. However, you need to manage your expectations. We might see those 30% annual returns for a while, but thinking Bitcoin will outpace the stock market by 20 percentage points every year for 20 years, that's where things start to sound more like fantasy than reality. At the end of the day, the most important thing is to do your own research. If you're just following predictions like sailors without understanding the full picture, you're setting yourself up for a rude awakening. Bitcoin might be the king of crypto, but it's still highly volatile and long-term investing in it requires a strong stomach and a good sense of timing. All right, Crypto Educate fam, let's wrap this up with some key takeaways. T. First, Cardano is making some noise with mysterious wallet transactions that could potentially shake up its price. While 80s price is showing signs of a bullish breakout, we're not quite out of the woods yet. Watch those resistance levels carefully because breaking past $0.35 could pave the way for a run to $0.50 or even $1 if things really heat up. But don't get caught up in the hype. Remember that Cardano, like every other altcoin, has its cycles of boom and bust. As for Bitcoin, Michael Saylor's $13 million prediction is wild, bold, and maybe just a little bit too optimistic. That being said, Bitcoin is still one of the best long-term plays in the crypto space. If you're thinking about getting in, make sure you understand what you're buying into. Bitcoin's deflationary nature and limited supply make it a strong contender as a store of value, but expecting it to reach the kind of growth Saylor's predicting is setting yourself up for disappointment. And as always, none of this is financial advice. I'm just here to help break down the crypto world for you in a way that's fun, engaging, and informative. It's up to you to take what you've learned and apply it to your own research and decisions. Thanks for sticking with me through this deep dive. If you found any value in today's video, make sure to smash that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts. I wanna hear what you think about Sailor's Bitcoin prediction, and don't forget to subscribe for more crypto content. Your support is what keeps this channel alive and thriving. So let's keep this crypto educate fam growing. Until next time, keep doing your own research, stay sassy, and remember crypto is a marathon, not a sprint. See you in the next one.